Hi folks, welcome to another video by Belthotech slash VU3 Golf Whiskey Number. Today let us talk about uh, updating the firmware for ATS120. If you check out, I've already uh, put up a video on how uh, unboxing of uh, ATS120 and a quick uh, browse through of its uh, features. I'll be making a more detailed video on its features, but uh, today let's uh, discuss how to update the firmware for ATS120. Now the firmware is available at this website, hardino.ru. And uh, by default, it opens up in uh, Russian. You can just uh, switch over to the English. Uh, I'll show you how to do that. Now, there are two kinds of firmware that are available there for download. Uh, both of them I've uploaded uh, onto my ATS120. Uh, it, I mean, up upload process is super easy, which I'll be showing you today. Uh, but the custom firmware with a lot of features, including a waterfall and uh, easy uh, way to pair Bluetooth and other interesting features are all paid. Uh, unfortunately, you can't just uh, buy a key. Uh, you'll have to go enter, you know, request for a key on its forum, which I've done. We're still waiting for them to respond back. Then you have the stock firmware, which is also, uh, you know, download available there uh, for free. You can download and uh, upload uh, the firmware onto the radio in case you mess up, but this is a good way to get back your radio into working condition, which I actually did. I uploaded the custom firmware, but it got stuck asking for a key. Then I went back and downloaded the stock firmware and uploaded it. So I've got the radio working again. So today I'll show you uh, the website and uh, how to download the stock firmware. I'll keep the custom uh, firmware uh, upload process for another day. When I get the key, I'll be able to upload and show you ATS120 with uh, new features. Now let's go to the website okay we have the website here opened up um so this is the hardino website uh, as you can see this is in russian just click over here it'll change to english and if you see there are multiple versions of the radios that they are supporting so we need ats120 we don't need the h radio software this is the one with the license you can buy it if you want otherwise you can just skip it i have asked them for the cost also they haven't responded back so once they respond I'll put a note on the uh, video description. So let's go over to the download page and uh, I'll show you where to download for the free version of ATS120. If you can see, this is for ATS25 for a and ATS120. This is the paid version, uh, 4.16, uh, which is H-Radio 4.16. So don't download this. You need to click on this link, which is old and stock firmware versions. And then search for ATS120. Please don't download a firmware for a different radio and upload it. You'll just break your radio. So download this firmware installer for receiver 120. Download this. You should be downloading a file called ATS 120. I've already downloaded this. So I'll be opening that uh, here, uh, ATS 120. And uh, this is the radio, uh, this is the software that I've downloaded for uh, the paid version. Uh, but this is what we have downloaded for the original stock firmware there is a problem in this uh, batch file so it assumes that you already have python set up i did not have python in the path so it used to open up uh, the python editor but all you can do is uh, <clears throat> it's a batch so show more options edit and then you need to add python here that's all it just takes the comport number and uh, right flash and uh, starting address is zero and firmware.bin that's all i mean it's uh, does nothing much uh, but update the firmware using Python. Uh, Bard is 921600. This shows me that the communication protocol between the radio and the PC is well established. I mean, it's a good piece of hardware. It can take a lot more. I mean, even if you look at USDX and all, the communication protocol says 19600, 19200, right? But this says 921600. So looks like a good amount of, uh, you know, hardware uh, capacity is there in the radio, which can take better uh, software. So the paid version is actually looking very good. I really interested in up uploading the paid version with the license key because it's got waterfall and just makes the radio uh, look very, very nice and, you know, do a lot of things than the stock firmware. But right now, today, the focus is updating the soft uh, stock firmware. So let me connect the radio, come back and uh, show you how to check the COM port of the radio and how to run this on the radio again. Thank you very much. I'll come back. Okay, so I've connected uh, my radio to my PC. It's getting detected. How do you see if it's getting detected? You open up your device manager, you should see this USB serial CH340 and a COM port that the radio has been detected on. 
if it's connected you will see this here if not you might have a driver issue what you need to do is go to the same hardino website and uh, under where i showed you the user manual that same page before you go to hold on stock firmware options you will see a usb driver ch341 scr driver for ats25 and ats120 download this execute this then if need be you might have to restart your pc and then your uh, radio will get detected but yeah once it does that you should be able to see this i already had this driver so i did not have to run that but uh, my radio got detected by the pc next we'll see how to upload the firmware okay so let's go to the firmware uh, folder i opened up this folder in my favorite command line tool and uh, i'll be starting the upload process as you can see the radio is switched on right now and connected so based on the previous modification that i showed you i'll just uh, do flash dot bat and uh, you should see the upload process it is asking for the comport number as you can see here uh, press 3 and uh, the radio is turned off and the writing is happening uh, so it's pretty bright uh, lights there and it's 50 60 percent right now so let's see how the firmware upload happens of course uh, all your memory memo settings everything is uh, removed if you upload the firmware and uh, the radio is back in action after the firmware upload that's how you do a firmware upload the stock firmware uh, once i have the license key i'll show you how to do the custom firmware upload as well thank you very much